Welcome to this informative video about HIV symptoms and kidney disease. In this comprehensive discussion, we'll delve into the intricate connection between these two health concerns, exploring the potential impact of HIV on kidney function, the range of symptoms that may arise, and the importance of early detection and treatment. Together, we'll gain a deeper understanding of this crucial aspect of HIV care. HIV and its impact on kidney health. HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus, is a formidable pathogen that targets the body's immune system, gradually weakening its defenses against infections and diseases. While HIV primarily affects the immune system, its impact can extend to other vital organs, including the kidneys. The kidneys play a critical role in maintaining overall health, efficiently filtering waste products and excess fluids from the blood. They also produce hormones that regulate blood pressure, red blood cell production, and calcium balance. When HIV infiltrates the body, it can potentially damage the delicate filtering units within the kidneys, leading to a condition known as HIV-associated nephropathy HIVN. HIVAN, a type of glomerulonephritis, specifically targets the glomeruli, the tiny filtration units responsible for removing waste products from the blood. As HIVAN progresses, the glomeruli become inflamed and scarred, hindering their ability to filter effectively. This impairment can lead to a buildup of toxins and excess fluids in the body, ultimately compromising kidney function. Symptoms of HIV-associated kidney disease. In the early stages of HIVAN, symptoms may be subtle or absent altogether. However, as the condition progresses, various signs and symptoms may emerge, including swelling in the legs, ankles, and feet edema. This swelling occurs due to the accumulation of excess fluids that the kidneys are unable to eliminate. High blood pressure, hypertension. The kidneys help regulate blood pressure by releasing hormones. When kidney function is impaired, blood pressure can rise, increasing the risk of cardiovascular complications. Proteinuria, the presence of excessive protein in the urine is a hallmark of kidney damage. Protein, normally retained in the blood, leaks into the urine when the glomeruli are damaged. Foamy urine, the presence of excessive protein in the urine can cause urine to appear frothy or foamy. Fatigue, as the kidneys struggle to function properly, the body may experience general fatigue and weakness. Nausea and vomiting, the buildup of toxins and metabolic waste products can trigger nausea and vomiting. Skin rash, a generalized skin rash may develop in some individuals with HIVAN. Risk factors for HIV-associated kidney disease. Several factors can increase the risk of developing HIVAN, including uncontrolled HIV infection, poorly controlled HIV infection, where the viral load remains high, raises the risk of kidney damage. Co-infection with hepatitis C virus HCV, HCV infection, a viral liver disease, is associated with an increased risk of HIVAN. Certain antiretroviral medications, some HIV medications, particularly tenofovir and sitofovir, have been linked to kidney damage, especially in higher doses. African ancestry, individuals of African descent have a higher predisposition to developing HIVAN compared to other ethnic groups. Importance of early detection and treatment. Early detection and treatment of HIVAN are crucial for preserving kidney function and preventing further complications. Regular monitoring of kidney function through blood and urine tests is essential for individuals with HIV. Early identification of kidney problems allows for timely intervention and treatment, potentially slowing the progression of HIVAN and minimizing the risk of kidney failure. Treatment for HIVAN typically involves managing the underlying HIV infection with antiretroviral therapy art. ART can help suppress HIV replication and reduce the inflammation that contributes to kidney damage. Additionally, blood pressure control and lifestyle modifications, such as dietary adjustments and smoking cessation, can further protect kidney function. In some cases, more aggressive treatment measures, such as immunosuppressive drugs or even kidney transplantation, may be necessary to manage advanced HIVAN. These interventions should be carefully considered under the guidance of a specialized healthcare team. HIV, while primarily affecting the immune system, can also impact kidney function, potentially leading to HIV-associated nephropathy HIVN. Early detection and treatment of HIVAN are crucial for preserving kidney health and preventing further complications. Regular monitoring of kidney function, effective HIV management, and lifestyle modifications play key roles in maintaining overall health for individuals with HIV.